Hello and welcome to another Aldi and Lidl tool video. Got another selection of tools to show you in this video. So we're going to kick things off straight away with a Aldi product and it is this WorkZone digital caliper set. Now I already have a set of digital calipers but it was worth getting another set just for inclusion in the video. And I'm going to open these up and see if they're the same and uh, show you guys at home what they're like. Now, I've had mine for many years and I believe they are the same sort of thing. Right, they come in this handy plastic storage case, although unfortunately for me, when I was leaving Audi, I actually dropped these on the floor and have broken the case on this set. But not to worry, let's hope that the thing inside isn't broken. So you get a user manual although it's pretty self-explanatory a warranty warranty period is three years from date of purchase and six months of wear parts are consumable three-year warranty is not bad um, and there you go you've got your digital calipers in there there's a tag here if we take that out they should come on there we go you can zero them in and they are very handy you can change it from inches to millimeters with that button on there there's handy lock on the top so they lock into position and you've obviously got the digital display on the top so if i put them close zero them in and obviously for model makers they are an extremely handy thing to have for measuring the likes of wheel backs um, should be four, there you go, 14 point, oh, that's spot on, <laughs> and that's a scrap engine. But yeah, measuring things like that, and also you can measure the width of things. So they are, I think they were £8 for a set of digital calipers. And like I said, I have already got a set of these, but I'm going to keep a set in my toolbox and then a set on the workbench so that uh, I don't have to carry them around with me. And you can turn them off just by holding the button. And it also comes with a spare battery. So you actually you get two batteries with it. That's, that's pretty neat for £8. Like I said, don't worry about the case too much because I did actually drop it on my way out of Audi. So that is entirely my fault. So yeah, I really like them. They're quite good. Um, from Lidl's this time was some bar clamps. Now I got these um, to demonstrate for people out there that make uh, are making a layout, building a model railway layout, or indeed any sort of woodwork, but because mine's a model railway channel, I got these with baseboard building in mind. So we've got these bar clamps. Press the button there to release them. And you can, that be handy for clamping wood together when it's, when it's been gluing. And they've got quite a good quite a good width 150 millimeters maximum on the large one clamps into place quite nicely and they yeah they look pretty solid and then obviously you've got smaller ones which can be used for kit building maybe and uh, other types of miniature woodwork those teeth don't exactly line up there and this one is a maximum of 100 mil 10 centimeters so yeah they're quite good i um think these were about eight pound a set as well you get four four in a set two large ones two small ones um yeah and they were from Lidl's as well so the next thing i picked up from Lidl's was a pair of work gloves now don't usually review things like this but i do a fair amount of painting models and um, holding the paint handles these are they are a very nice fit just to protect your hands while i've bought them to protect my hands while i'm doing some painting um got a nice oh yeah a nice rubbery grip yeah that is uh, yeah these were four pounds i think and they come in different sizes i got size 11 but i think i could have done with a size 10 but they actually didn't have any size 10s but they're uh, 
Yeah, they're very nice actually, very comfortable. Yeah, very comfortable. And like I said, it's not going to, um, when I'm holding the paint, uh, when I'm holding the paint handle, it's not going to impede the use of my fingers or anything. But uh, like I said, they could be used for anything, obviously. They are work gloves, but I've got them for the primarily for painting with. Yeah, I like them. Very nice indeed. Very comfortable. Very soft. And the green material is very soft. And they've got this latex coating, which, as I've just demonstrated, is very grippy. So, yeah, I like them. Elasticated wrist part there. Stop any contaminants going up your... Uh, up the gloves onto your hands. Right, the next item I picked up from Lidl was an anti-static tweezer set. Um, I've got this specifically because I do a fair amount of work on like as uh, model railways, especially digital. Now the digital decoders, you uh, aren't supposed to get the static on them. They can get ruined. So let's just take a, a pair of these tweezers out. And they are, I don't know how well the camera will pick that up. But they are perfectly in alignment. They are coated in this anti-static layer as per the box. Get this. It is uh, ESD coating, protects electronic parts, electronic discharge, made from high quality stainless steel. They're really good. They're quite sharp. They are awesome. So, as I mentioned... Each one of my model locomotives is fitted with a microchip like this. And if I was soldering parts on these, um, which I have done in the past to repair them, these anti-static solder, uh, these anti-static tweezers are very good because it stops any electrical discharge onto the small components. And they come in this very nice little caddy yeah i do like those you've got those um pointy ones you've got some longer some wider jaw ones for bigger components a couple of cranked pieces and like i said all the all the jaws on them are fitting up exactly there's no misalignment of the ends of the tweezers which is common with uh, cheaper tweezer sets. Now these were six pound a pack, six pounds each, and they are excellent value for money. They are, yeah, they're really nice. They're gonna come in really handy. So you get 10 different tweezers with this handy, there we go, handy pack to wrap them up with. So yeah, they're really nice, I like them. Yeah, six pounds for 10 anti-static discharge tweezers. Very handy if you're doing any sort of electrical work. The next thing I picked up was from Audi. And this is another soldering iron station. Now, I've got a couple of these. I've reviewed one on this sort of channel before. But um, I've got a variable temperature one. I've got an Antex one. And now I've got this one. So I can keep one in the house and I keep one outside. And the variable temperature one use as and when so like i said ferrex this comes from audi let's have a look what we get in here well, first thing out is some solder sponge followed by the iron itself and there looks to be let me get this stuff out of here as there looks to be some self-assembly required with this yeah a a spare tip a flat-ended tip which is handy warranty card after sales support made in austria again three years and six months for consumable parts so looking at the instruction manual it tells you how to solder and it tells you how to put it together so this holder actually sits in that is a push fit into there like that very very sturdy and there are two helping hands at the front 
the sponge goes in there. And then round the back is a little compartment. So it's a pull out drawer. So I'm not, oh, there we go. So you lift that up and then in the back, oh, whoops. In the back is some more solder, another sponge and a, ah, so they've put two sets of that in. So you've got, I've got a spare sponge. I've got the tips, I'll put those in there, oh, that's, that's handy. So got, and that fits in the back there. And is held out of the bay. Mains lead with a mains plug. And then the soldering iron part itself with a thin nozzled soldering iron tip. That's very nice actually. Now if people have watched this before, they might remember that the little soldering iron had a collar on it, which kept getting stuck in the holder. Whereas this one isn't going to have that problem. That's a very snug fit, so you can't... Yeah, that's I like that. That's uh, a lot more user-friendly, and obviously it's mobile because you can move it around. So yeah, Ferrex from Aldi, soldering iron. Um, I think this was about £8. So uh, I might do a road test on this. You can change the tip by releasing these two screws, and that tip pulls out, and then you can put the other tip in, which we saw earlier. Yeah, I like that. That's uh, that's going to be quite um, yeah, quite user friendly. It sits in there with it, and there's the cable. So, yeah, soldering iron station from Aldi, the Ferrex 30 watt soldering iron set. Right, the next item I got from Lidl's was this Parkside countersunk wood drill bits, and they've actually got a countersink built into them. There's also an Allen key. Does that come with this or is that uh, yeah so again i got these with building baseboards in mind for model railways but you can use them obviously for any sort of woodwork but basically it countersinks the hole as you drill it so that your screw head is below the wood level we have a allen key here so that you can actually if needed you can remove the countersink or indeed adjust the depth of the drill that, and the hole that you want countersunk. So you can adjust the countersink depth. Very handy to have. They come in all uh, different sizes, ranging from that is a three millimeter all the way up to a six millimeter. And yeah, very handy, especially for building, as I said, building model railway layouts. Because you want the screws to be countersunk into the wood and i hadn't actually seen these before so i thought it was worth getting them just to show just to show what they're like on the uh, on the channel here very sharp drill bits they are extremely sharp i can feel the i can feel the um, edges of that drill bit it's very sharp i uh, don't actually have a drill to demonstrate these with at the moment just turn that, but yeah yeah Drill bits with built-in countersink. I think there was a fiver. I think there was a fiver for that set. So, uh, yeah, very nice. And like I said, I have got these with Model Railway baseboard building in mind. But obviously they've got a lot more other uses with other people that do woodwork of different types. This thing is a sandpaper set that I picked up from Lidl again. Again, I got this with baseboard building in mind. But again, any sort of woodwork... Um, they can go with any sort of woodwork and let's just have a look what we get with this we have got three different grades of sanding sponge 120 80 and 40 we have a sander that you put your put your sandpaper in clamp it in and then you can use it with your hand and then we've got a lot of sandpaper 400 grit 80 grit and 120. again i got like i said got this for baseball building in mind but this is a very handy set to have if you're doing diy or any sort of woodwork i mean you've got quite a few sheets in there i don't know if it tells you how many on here 20 sheets of sandpaper four for paint 10 for wood and six for metal three sanding sponges and a sanding block think this was about seven pounds so 
that's not bad 20 sheets of sandpaper three sanding sponges and your sanding block there for doing various types of woodwork last item on the agenda today is another parkside screwdriver set i got this because it looks like it's got some mini screwdrivers in for modeling and i'm also going to be looking at the larger screwdriver sets never have too many screwdrivers certainly i can't the amount of, uh, amount of these videos i've done so again in a nice sturdy plastic box I'll just unclip those two and there we go now these are very very similar if not the same sort of screwdrivers that were in that mini screwdriver set that i reviewed in the last video but this time you get five of them in a the case there are some differing screw heads there you've got your hex nut ends your stars and then you've got some bigger screwdrivers in this side magnetic tips i think yeah look at that look, magnetic tips they've all got magnetic tips and obviously you've also got your you've also got your socket driver there for these magnetically uh, connected inside there they do feel like they're nice quality actually they do feel like they're very nice quality very uh, comfortable handles yeah so that screwdriver set was from Lidl's and this is £10 and like I said I got this mainly for these smaller screwdrivers for modelling work but these are exactly the same as the ones I had before with the swivelling tops so you can do more miniature work so on the here yeah they're uh, yeah very nice yeah very nice to use seem to be good quality nice solid handles so yeah that screwdriver set was from Lidl and that was £10 for all of what you see there and like I said it comes in this nice sturdy plastic case thanks again for watching another Aldi and Lidl tool video as always as soon as I get another collection of various different tools and that from Aldi and Lidl I'll do another video in due course although I might extend it now to start looking at tools you can get from places like Poundland and B&M's and seeing what's available elsewhere as the Lidl and Aldi stuff tends to be cyclical a lot of the stuff I've already reviewed as uh, is coming out again now so if you want any of this stuff head down to your local Aldi and Lidl I'm not affiliated with them I just buy the tools to review for you guys have a look at them on the channel um, it seems to be popular, so I'll keep doing it. But like I said, I'm going to extend it now. I'm going to start looking at stuff you can get from the range and B&Ms and seeing what, uh, what decent sort of tools for decent prices we can get, especially in these times of uh, a cost of living crisis, etc., where we're always looking for a good deal. So my favourite thing probably out of the whole lot is the tweezer set. That is really nice. I really do like that. That's going to come in handy. And uh, by using that, obviously, I'm not going to have to worry about any electrical discharge when I'm working on my model railway stuff. The gloves will come in handy, save me getting my hands covered in paint. And, uh, yeah, I think we've got a good good haul there this time. So uh, I'm going to leave you now. I'm going to go and put all this stuff away with all the other stuff I've reviewed in the past. And I'll catch you in the next video. Please like, share and subscribe. Thanks very much for watching. Bye for now.